Hello everybody and welcome. Let's solve some more questions about projectile motion. Question 7. It says here that a ball thrown horizontally from the edge of a 20 meter tall building lands 40 meters from the base of the building. De determine the speed at which the ball was thrown and he's giving us these choices. Okay. Let's try to draft it here. It says that it was thrown off a 20 meter tall building. So this is 20 meters. Okay. Now it was thrown horizontally. So we have a VX, which is unknown, and we have a VY, we know it's equal to zero, okay? Determine the speed at which the ball was thrown, so it needs us to find VX, okay? So in order to find VX, we know that delta X is equal to VX multiplied by T, okay? Now we have delta X because it says that the object fell down at a distance equal 40 meters from the building, okay? So... We have delta x, delta x, we have it. Vx, do we have it? No, it's unknown. Do we have the time? No, it's also unknown. So what do we do? We will go and start looking through the equations of motion. Okay, we know that V final, y, is equal to V initial, y, minus g multiplied by t. V final y is unknown, so can I use this equation? Well, actually, no. Let's look for another equation. We know that equation number three says that delta y is equal to v y initial t minus half g t squared. Okay. Now let's try using this equation. I know that delta y is equal to 20, but since it's going downwards, it will have a negative value. So minus 20 is equal to v y initial. It's zero multiplied by t minus half multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by t squared, okay? So, again, let's continue it here. Minus 20 is equal to minus 4.9, which is half, multiplied by 9.8, multiplied by t squared, okay? So, if I divide both sides by 4.9, and I divide this side by 4.9, I can see that t, in this case, will be, or t squared is approximately for seconds, so we will find, if I take the square root for both of them, we will find that t is equal to 2 seconds approximately. Now, since we found that t is equal to 2 seconds, I can go back and plug it in into this equation, okay? So I'm going to say here that delta x is equal to vx, which is unknown, multiplied by t, okay? Delta x is equal to 40, this is equal to vx multiplied by time, which is equal to 2. Therefore, I divide both sides by 2, and I will find that Vx is equal to 20 meters, okay, per second. So the best choice is D. So the thing in the question is that I needed the vertical equations to solve the horizontal equation. So they are somewhat related to each other, okay? It says here that object X with a large mass and a ball Y with a small mass simultaneously roll with identical horizontal velocities off a tabletop. Air friction is neglected. Which of the following shows their subsequent trajectories? Now, X and Y, we have choice A, B, C, and D. Okay, what can we say about these objects? They both have the same horizontal distance. So they both have the same VX, okay? But they have different masses. Now, it's asking me... In other words, which is falling farther from the base, okay? Is it x or y? Now, let's see the equation. The equation says that delta x is equal to vx multiplied by t. So, the only two factors that determine delta x here is the horizontal velocity and the time. And we know that they both have the same horizontal velocities. It says here identical horizontal velocities, okay? So, what about time? Say so they both have the same horizontal velocity, but what about the time? Do they have the same time? Well, actually, we mentioned this many times before. If two objects are dropped off from the same height, it will take them the same time to reach the ground. They will touch the ground simultaneously. So actually, they will both have the same horizontal distance, the same delta x. Therefore, the answer is A. Question 9. A ball is projected horizontally above level ground from the top of a vertical cliff. The ball strikes the level ground one kilometer from the base of the cliff four seconds after it was fired. The height of the cliff is most nearly, so it's asking me to find delta y. So let's try to draw it. It says we have a vertical cliff, and the object was thrown. It fell approximately one kilometer 
or 1,000 meters, okay? So converting the unit is very important. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, okay? Time taken was equal to four seconds. So I have delta X, which is equal to 1,000, and I have that time is equal to four seconds. It's asking about the height of the cliff. So it's asking me to find delta Y, okay? Now, we know that VX here is unknown. We still do not know it. But what we sure know is that VY is equal to, or VY initial is equal to zero. So I'm going to write it here. VY initial is equal to zero. It's asking me to find delta Y. Well, there, are mo there is more than one equation that can be used to find delta Y, but let's look at this equation. Delta Y is equal to VY initial T minus half G T squared, okay? Now, from this equation, VY initial is zero, T is unknown, or, oh, sorry, we know T, T is equal to four seconds, G is equal to 9.8, and T again here is equal to four seconds. So I can just say directly that delta Y is equal to zero multiplied by four, which is zero, minus half, multiplied by G, which is 9.8, multiplied by time, which is four squared. Do not forget the squared. This gives us an answer equal to delta Y is approximately equal to 80 meters so the best choice in this case is a a stone will fall straight to the ground in two seconds when dropped from rest so vy initial is equal to zero of from top of a building that building is 20 meters high as shown next if the stone is thrown horizontally from the building with a velocity of five meters per second so it's thrown horizontal let's try to graph it okay it says that vx is equal to 20 meters per second sorry it's five meters per second what is the distance it will fall off through so it's asking me to find delta x well i know that delta x is equal to vx which i know multiplied by t which i do not know well the whole idea in the question i think we solved one similar to this one before since it takes it two seconds to, t to reach the ground when it falls from 20 meters above the ground, since it's falling from the same height, it will take the same time regardless having a horizontal speed. So the answer is straightforward, 5 multiplied by 2, which is equal to 10 meters. So it will fall 10 meters away from the building. Now stay tuned. In the next videos, we will be solving more problems on projectile motion. See you then.